I have a friend who recently told me that writer's block isn't real. It's possible. The best way to get over anything is to keep moving forward. To keep writing. Even if it's about nothing. And that's where this begins. Writing about nothing, which always turns into something. Because any action is better than no action. So many of us are stuck. Stuck in our routines. Stuck in the daily grind of life. Possibly denying the reality of the weight we've all been carrying around this past two years. Possibly forgetting the little things like joy and gratitude. And when we struggle with the current situation, try something else. Create. Without fear of falling. We have detached from our idea of success being attached to the idea of being busy. Work 
It now follows me everywhere. As we stay connected through our laptops and iPhones. The change we made in our careers is another story for another time, but these past two years have had us trying to stay disconnected as much as we possibly can. And I have a flaw. I always push the boundaries of everything I set my mind to because I learned the more I put into this life, the more I get out. And here's the thing, we are entering into one of the most exciting times of our lives here in Alaska and we're finding joy in that, but somewhere I lost the joy in sharing the current excitement in our lives on YouTube. For several weeks, we took a break and put the cameras down and considered an extended YouTube break. You ready to go bye-bye? Go for a ride? Yeah? Did you have a good swim? Get away from every little thing just to try to make it through. I've been thinking about my options, every detail in my head. But it doesn't really matter, nothing matters, so I cry instead. Let's carry on. The YouTube algorithm may give us a huge beating for a short pause in releasing videos and that's okay because our favorite videos are the least viewed and nothing is more important than focusing on being present and proactive about our mental health. We decided it was time to pack everything up in search of a change of scenery, a new muse, a new experience. And of course, Jim knows exactly how to make that happen. 
Or at least the universe does because our home on wheels gave us a scare when its automatic braking system failed on us during not so ideal winter road conditions in Alaska. Did you just save yourself like a couple hundred bucks? It went off. So, let's tell the people what just happened. So that's really weird. So our ABS ESP light just popped on as an error message. And we turned the steering wheel a couple times, put it in reverse, and it turned off. So it reset the system somehow, but our check engine light is still on. So it still has to go get checked, but we don't know what it means. I might have just fixed it. Well, it had, it said ESP warning on there. And then when we were going down the road, it was doing this like chuggy, chuggy thing. And that's why we pulled over. And then you YouTubed it. Yeah. And the guy said to turn your wheel. And now we re put it in reverse, went forward. And now it's off. Yeah, now it reset. So that was weird. But we're gonna keep going and there's a berm here, but Jimmy's gonna try to go around it.
getting stuck? It can be a mistake, but at least it's movement forward. We did some problem solving and the van was running okay, but we were over 100 miles away from the city of Anchorage, which is the one and only Sprinter Freightliner Service Center in Alaska. And the soonest appointment is in two weeks. So we decided to stay put and take care of each other. And now, we felt broken and burnt out. And burnout is when we listen to others and not our own body. We talk to others, but not to ourselves or each other. Interpreting metaphors as facts is a dangerous game. Lay down, lay down. Say thank you, John. Good 
Great Harvest Bread Company all natural dog biscuits from our subscriber John. Thank you, John. Burnout means we outrun ourselves, we outdo ourselves, we outperform ourselves. You don't have to set yourself on fire to keep others warm and we have learned to pause while continuing to tell our story and put our hearts and soul into our videos. We'll make sure both sides of our meat are brown, so we'll stir it up a little bit here. Our meat's brown. We're going to add in two tablespoons of teriyaki tablespoon of soy sauce, tablespoon of garlic, and some sriracha. Make sure our valve is closed and we're going to pressure cook on high for 15 minutes. So, what have we learned today? Burnout occurred because we were running when we should have been walking. Not listening to our bodies and filling our plates with all the wrong things. Forgetting to renew that joy and letting that creative flame go out. And now, we're setting fire to our broken pieces and pushing forward because being strong is the only choice we have. Thank you for staying with us as we relax and recharge our minds and bodies, learn to explore new opportunities, take new risks, and bring you brand new adventures. So stay tuned for a big announcement about an annual meetup we're planning in Alaska this summer. Do you dream of coming to Alaska or traveling with us? Hit that subscribe button for your chance to do just that. And until then, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.